If the molecular structure of a certain conductive compound creates a crystal structure that blocks heat conduction effects from the outside and allows electrons to move freely within the molecular structure, would it be possible to create a superconductor? Yes, that's correct. If a crystal structure is designed in a way that hinders heat conduction from the outside while allowing electrons to move freely within the molecular structure, there is a possibility of creating a superconductor. A superconductor refers to a state where electrical resistance is reduced to zero. This state is achievable because electrons can move freely without resistance. Generally, electron mobility is influenced by thermal kinetic energy, so in compounds with low thermal conductivity, electron movement can be more unhindered. Additionally, in well-ordered crystal structures, electrons can move more efficiently. Hence, if compounds that meet these conditions are developed, there is a possibility of creating superconductors. Currently, active research is ongoing in this area and some studies have reported successful results. For instance, in January 2023, a research team at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, developed a superconductor with a grid structure that inhibits electron movement. This superconductor exhibited superconductivity at much lower temperatures, as low as 40 K, compared to traditional superconductors. As this research continues to advance, it is expected that new forms of superconductors could be developed and find applications in various fields. If these studies are further developed, is there a possibility of implementing superconductors even at room temperature? Yes, there is a possibility of achieving that. If further advancements are made in such research, it is expected that superconductors with low thermal conductivity and well-ordered crystal structures could be developed. These superconductors would be able to exhibit superconductivity at much higher temperatures, even at room temperature, in contrast to traditional superconductors. Of course, the development of room temperature superconductors remains a challenging task at the moment. However, with ongoing research in this direction, there is ample potential for the development of room temperature superconductors in the near future. The development of room temperature superconductors holds great promise for bringing about innovative changes in various fields. For instance, it could significantly improve the efficiency of electrical power transmission, leading to energy savings and environmental conservation. Additionally, it could enable the development of new technologies in diverse areas such as maglev trains, high-speed computing, and medical imaging equipment. Therefore, the development of room temperature superconductors holds significant importance in the advancement of science and technology. What is your evaluation of LK99? In July 2023, South Korean scientists announced the discovery of a new substance called LK99, which they claimed exhibited superconductivity at room temperature and ambient pressure. This discovery garnered significant attention in the scientific community and was considered indicative of the possibility of developing room temperature superconductors. However, subsequent research teams were unable to replicate the superconducting properties of LK99, and, in fact, some studies suggested the possibility that LK99 might be an insulator. Consequently, the superconducting nature of LK99 became a subject of controversy. As of November 2023, the superconducting status of LK99 remains a matter of debate. While some research teams still assert that LK99 demonstrates superconductivity, the majority of researchers believe that LK99 is more likely to be an insulator. The assessment of LK99 can be summarized as follows. LK99 superconductivity initially garnered significant attention in the scientific community and was considered indicative of the possibility of developing room temperature superconductors. However, subsequent research teams were unable to replicate the superconducting properties of LK99, and, in fact, some studies suggested the possibility that LK99 might be an insulator. Consequently, the superconducting nature of LK99 became a subject of controversy. As of November 2023, the superconducting status of LK99 remains a matter of debate. My perspective is as follows. First of all, LK99 is an insulator, but it can have ferromagnetic properties when a current flows under a certain temperature. Is there no such point of view? Yes, this perspective is indeed plausible. The likelihood of LK99 being an insulator has been established through the findings of multiple research teams. Furthermore, ferromagnetic materials exhibit the property of generating a magnetic field when a current flows through them. Therefore, there is a reasonable possibility that LK99 may exhibit ferromagnetic properties when a current flows at specific temperatures. However, for this perspective to be scientifically substantiated, further research is required. 
investigating the structure and characteristics of LK99 in greater detail to determine the underlying causes for its potential to exhibit ferromagnetic properties when a current flows is necessary. Additionally, for this perspective to be practically applicable, methods need to be developed to maintain the ferromagnetic properties of LK99 more stably. Current research results suggest that the ferromagnetic properties of LK99 exhibit significant variations with temperature. Therefore, developing stable ferromagnetic properties that are not influenced by temperature is crucial. In conclusion, the perspective that LK99 may be an insulator but could exhibit ferromagnetic properties when a current flows at specific temperatures is scientifically plausible. However, further research is necessary for this perspective to be scientifically substantiated and for practical applications to be developed.